What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of JDM For All. In today's video, we're actually going to be doing a mod list video on the 7th Gen 2002 Honda Civic. It has a lot of mods to make it look better and uh, has a lot of really nice small mods as well. So let's take a look at the 7th Gen. Okay guys, so here's the 7th Gen Civic. A lot of people are starting to realize the 7th Gen Civics are a great platform to mod and this car is really fun to drive as well. So we're gonna start with the front really quick. This Civic does have a Mugen replica uh, lip. It just gives it a much more aggressive look. We also have the replica Type R grille with the Mugen badge. Yeah, so I had to install that afterwards, but I think it complements it great. It is missing the red Honda badge, but I think it looks really good, so. The front end is almost perfect. Uh, it does need little touch-ups and the headlights do need to be done. I have read on the comments, few people pointed that out. Yeah, I know, we are going to be working on that. Uh, this used to be my car. Um, I don't own it anymore, but the owner and I have been working together. I've been working on this car for him and headlights are going to be soon, but the red badge in the grill as well definitely needs to be done. So with the grill, the Mugen badge and the lip, it just looks great. Uh, we also have some rims. Not sure what kind of rims these are. And these are 17 inch rims. I do think the color does complement the rest of the car. It goes together great. And I think this, this car is definitely looking great. So this car is lowered on Skunk 2 lowering springs. Uh, we did install that in a video. Most of these mods, actually almost every single one of these mods were installed on video. So if you guys wanna check that out, uh, I do have a seventh gen Civic playlist. You can see most of these mods installed on there and different things that I talk about with this car as well. So we also have hood spacers does let air in to the engine bay, lets heat out. A lot of people don't like the look of this. Uh, it's a simple mod, you can take them out at any time. I don't think it's a big deal, they're super cheap as well. I think you can get them for like $8 for the no-name ones. And these are JDM Speed hood spacers. There you go, you can barely see it. So yeah, those are a few things that we've done uh, to the front end, basically. Uh, that's basically all. Um, we also have some window visors installed on here. These look great and they're functional and they make it look a little bit more JDM. That's definitely awesome. Another thing is the Mugen decals on the rear doors. I think the Mugen decals just make the car look even more aggressive. So the spoiler is stock and uh, a lot of people have been asking me where to get these. I believe they do sell replicas on eBay for pretty cheap. You can see right there, it says Civic right on it. So I believe this is a stock piece. I do see some Civics with this. I believe it was a, uh, this is something that you can add on at the dealership. Also, we do have the red replica Type R badges um, on the back and on the steering wheel. I will show you guys that. And Mugen. Mugen badge on the side over here. Looks great. So we basically went over the whole exterior of the car. Now it's time to go inside, see what mods we have done on the inside. Haven't done much, but we, there are a few things. One add-on to this car was the steering wheel. Honda steering wheel cover definitely makes it better to drive. Uh, it gives you a little more grip. It protects the steering wheel and it, it just looks better. It says Honda on it. Uh, we also have the replica Type R badge on the steering wheel. And we just installed the Type R style shift boot with the red stitching and the Type R style shift knob. Looks great. I like how it looks. Definitely matches the car, but it makes it look more aggressive. And another mod that we installed on the Civic a while back was the intake. This is a short Ram intake. I believe it was like 70 or $80 on Amazon. And we just installed the Mugen oil cap as well. I mean, these aren't big expensive, really difficult mods, but they definitely complement the car, the overall look. So I think the engine bay is looking great, but it does need to be cleaned up a little bit. 
So the Civic is looking awesome. Oh, here's the uh, here's the hood spacers. That's what they look like under the hood. Some people don't like that look. You can always change it. You can always go back to stock again, so it's not a big deal. So that is basically all of the mods that are done to the Civic so far. We have a lot to do to the Civic still, but I feel like the Civic has come a long way from stock. I did purchase the Civic, I don't know, maybe almost two years ago, uh, and it was completely stock. There was not one mod done to it, and it is looking much better now. Definitely looks aggressive. I like how it looks. So let me know what you guys think about the Civic in the comments below. Are you guys planning on getting one? Do you guys already have one and you're planning on modding it? These are great cars, like I said before, to mod. They are fun cars to drive. The mods are super cheap. You can get mods for this car all day for really cheap. I definitely like that. With my Lexus, a lot of the mods were pretty expensive, pretty pricey, so you do have to be a little bit more selective when you're buying mods. With Civics, and especially this Civic, you could just buy all of the mods and just start throwing mods on your car. I do like that. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for making it this far. Let me know, like I said before, what you guys think about the Civic. I think it's coming along great. It does need some work, but it looks great. All right, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.